I'm not feeling well. I'm not going to want to be driving. So I just think it's great that you guys do this. This is Melody Huss's second day using a volunteer driver service as she begins radiation treatment for a benign tumor on her optic nerve. I've been going blind in one eye for quite some time but it got quite a lot worse quickly. And uh, so I came to Vancouver to the eye care center and that was at the end of February. Every day, thousands of BC cancer patients get free rides to and from their treatment appointments thanks to volunteer driver programs across the province. But there are growing concerns over increasing gas prices that are costing these not-for-profit programs a lot more money to fuel up. The more increases it is, the harder it is to make sure that we've got enough money to, to balance the books every year. So uh, right now we're probably up about 20% over last year. In terms in, of? In, in terms of the fuel cost. Freemason's Cancer Car Program has about 500 volunteers driving 17 cars across the province. One of those drivers is retired Vancouver firefighter Doug Stevens, whose wife passed away of breast cancer. I had a family member that was suffering from cancer, oh, the wife. Uh, this is something I can do to sort of help and give back. While volunteers offer their time, the nonprofit covers the cost of fuel. It says the spike at the pump is worrisome. We drive over 700,000 kilometers a year uh, with all of our vehicles. It, it's a significant issue. Without the program, volunteers say many patients would struggle to get to and from treatment. They can't take public transit. Taxis are rather expensive if they have to go every day for 30 days straight. For patients, it's one thing less to think about as they fight cancer. Your life kind of just stops and you gotta let it go and just trust that things are gonna be okay. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.